Well, we very much could be witnessing the end. Uh, Uber and Lyft driving might not be a reality or a job very, very soon. So please thumbs up the video to help support the channel and click subscribe to be notified with all of our updates. We're gonna get into this. Uh, before I do, I wanna thank our sponsor, Solo. Solo has just extended their new driver promotion, so all of the new drivers of our audience who sign up with our link and link their gig account for free will receive $10. Uh, it's a business app for drivers, helps drivers track their expenses, uh, optimize your income, and even guarantee your pay. So when you do go out and drive, you make $38 in an hour, 37 bucks in an hour, for, in, for example, 37 for Uber. So you go out, you make money, and you get paid. So sign up for Solo right now and get your $10 for free in a matter of seconds. So look at this, self-driving list will now officially be for the public in early 2023. Now, it's the ninth month of 2022, meaning that in about three to four months, people will be ordering lifts that have no driver. All of a sudden now drivers are no longer needed. Lyft's partnership with the autonomous driving company Motional is arriving faster than we thought. This is what the cars look like. There is no driver, there's no steering wheel in the car. Uh, uh, there's cameras everywhere, so passengers you know, can't do anything funky, they can't steal the car. Uh, residents and visitors of LA will be able to hail a new fully autonomous robo-taxi earlier than its makers anticipated. Now, now that these cars are going to be released to the public, these driverless cars, that means that the government is now approving them. What does that also mean? All of the other companies trying to make driverless cars, those are going to get approved as well. Now, if you thought it was just Lyft, there's also Google looking to create self-driving car. There's also Tesla. There's also Renault. There's also Toyota, Audi, Volvo, Mercedes-Benz, General Motors, and Nissan. Bosk, PSA, Puget, Citroen. These are companies that are all working on self-driving cars. Uh, I've heard even Apple is working on it. Um, Uber is also working on it. Toyota, Ford. I mean, I've also heard that Amazon is trying to make a driverless car. Um, so, like I'm just putting this out there, I mean, this could very much be the end of being an Uber driver, a Lyft driver. And it could, you know, fizzle out within the next year or two. So if you, you know, put in this game plan that you're gonna be an Uber driver or a Lyft driver for the next five years, that, you know, this is a time to start thinking about, you know, moving into a different career path. You know, Uber and Lyft has always been, oh, a great way to earn extra income or kind of be a, a nice fallback plan. Well, it's probably not gonna be anymore. So anyways, wanted to make this quick vid. Let me know your thoughts on this. And again, sign up for Solo while you can, <laughs> while driving is still a, you know, career. And you can get $10 for using our link, signing up for free. You can also get access to some of these really cool features like guaranteed pay. The rideshare guy is an investor and an advisor, and they work with all, all of these companies, Amazon Flex, DoorDash, Grubhub, GoPub, Instacart, Lyft, Ship, Uber, and Uber Eats, and they help you track your expenses. And also they say that drivers who sign up with Solo take home $5,000 more a year than the average app-based driver. So thanks for watching, guys. Take care and talk to you soon. Bye now.